How to Create Compelling Content That Generates Sales A lot of people don't know how to write content. Whether it be for articles, blog posts, or email messages, it's usually not done right, so, a lot of people simply don't do it. Or maybe you've tried, and nobody clicks on your links or buys stuff from you. You hear that the big secret of making tons of sales is through writing lots and lots of content, trust me, I know how frustrating that can be. I'd probably written 200 blog posts and emails before I felt like I was getting a decent response from people. I wondered, how is my business going to grow if I can't get people to do anything? Everyone has a trigger. If you can hit that emotional trigger, they'll click on your ad or buy your product from you. And that's the bare essentials for internet marketing. People who create compelling stuff get the sales. People who create fluff go back to their 9 to 5s, it's like watching a movie. Do you ever come out of the theater and you feel moved? You can't stop thinking about the movie because it had such a compelling story and sucked you in. People cry and cheer and laugh and applaud because they become emotionally involved. And then, of course, there are the movies where you can't get out of there fast enough. I've actually tried to fall asleep during some movies because they were so bad. People can't click out of bad content fast enough. And the worst part, you've lost them forever, luckily, there's an easy formula to draw your readers in and move them as opposed to them leaving as fast as they can. It's called PAS or problem, agitate, solve, first you present a problem. Then you poke at it a bit so your readers can identify more emotionally with the problem. Then you solve it, let's take my favorite movie, Avatar, problem, the humans want the aliens to clear out so they can have the land. Agitate, basically the middle two hours of the movie. Including the sweet battle scenes. Solve, the aliens win and the humans go home. IT follows the basic pattern for drawing people in and getting them emotionally involved. That's why it's the highest grossing movie in history, so remember PAS, and it doesn't hurt to throw in a story or analogy. And with your marketing, it also works to leave out part of the S. That way, they are more compelled to click on a link. To, it's just like when a movie's over, and you just know there's gonna be a sequel. If you like this marketing tip, check out the link in the resource box below.